so I was fortunate to have a little preview this morning of the uh, when I just talk. So I got to freak out all morning. I joined in Berkeley, 1977, and Gumrash was the GBC and the first sannyasi I got to meet and serve. At that time, it was in style to do that. Now it's a little watered down, but. Uh, so there was a natural connection through service from that time. And then when Prabhupada left, there was a natural transition based on that relationship. And I was fortunate enough to be able to perhaps even be the first person to break the zonal guru system and fly from um, Berkeley to Washington for my initiation in 1978, uh, Lord Nishimide's Day's appearance. That was the same day they installed Prabhupada. And I was kind of a latecomer. I missed whatever disciple meetings were there, and any idea of what was going on. And it was just an amazing sight. I think it was 10 rounded up in our buses. They were all there, parked around the, you know, in a circle in the campus. The place was packed. It was all quite exciting but bewildering. So I really can't say, that's what I can say about my initiation day. It was just you know, I can't remember much more than being wedged in like rush hour in Bombay. <laughs> so, um, but I got to travel with you for two weeks. Right after that, we went to get in Agri and then we went to Dallas. And within that time, the cementing feature of, uh, that was one meeting we had, and you, I think it was the, the meeting just before I went back to Berkeley, and you asked me what I was expecting, what I was looking for in a relationship, and I said, I, I'm attracted to you, and I want to remain an eternal friend. I had been so disappointed in material life, but specifically in friendships. So, and you told me the now famous quote that, well, I can be your friend, but, you know, it's not, it's, it's much better to be more uh, formal and, and uh, more of a, a servant with the spiritual master because a friend is less likely to listen. <laughs> that turned out to be true. So, I guess that's enough of the beginning. And then, uh, how I want to because I've had time, and, you know, of course it spoiled my job a period in terms of attention to the hearing, just here. I wasn't hearing so much this morning, my brain was going wild. So I, uh, I wrote something. I think this is my response to having heard this lecture. Accept my obeisances, all glories to you and Prabhupada. 
With your forgiveness, I beg to renew my initiation vows in good faith before you, Srila Prabhupada, the devotees and deities. The sacred fire is in your eyes today, doomsday. Those vows are no meat, fish, or eggs, no illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling. And above all, chant 16 rounds every day, my sacred but lapsed vow to you. I'm 65 now and want to try to be qualified for your mercy to drag me along to the next destination with you. Please don't give up on me. Thank you. Your servant, Holiday Vidubu Shandas.